welcome to GIS Pathway. Uh, today's tour is going to cover selection types. Uh, here I am using ARC Info 9.3. These selections are able to be done at ARC View and also ARC Editor. So it doesn't matter what um, version that you may have, um, but it is key that you have 9.3 as some of the options are not available. Um, if you notice here, uh, select by attributes, select by location, and select by graphics are all under the selection menu. I'm going to cover all these real quickly. Uh, by clicking select by attributes, you'll notice that in my map I have um, elementary school locations and planning sectors. Um, just basic small geographic areas for planning, and I'm going to make these correlate with each other um, using different selection options. I'm going to come in here and I want to select a name. So, take my name here equals and you can either type in the name but you gotta make sure you have your syntax right or you can hit get unique values and you can select the school name now I can do grade and obviously they're all elementary so everything will be selected or I can select by other options as well but for this example I'm going to select Poplin Elementary you see that it says name equals Poplin and we'll verify it shows that it was successful and I'm gonna hit OK and just like that, I've easily found the elementary school location named Poplin, and it has highlighted the point here in the middle of my screen. Um, this is very useful if you're not sure where a feature is or if you want to select multiple features. Um, maybe you want to find all of the features that start with a P. Uh, you can uh, enter that in um, by syntax as well and do a select by attribute and get the information shown. Uh, now that I have a Poplin Elementary um, labeled, I want to um, find some more information. So I'm going to do select by location, the next one down. Let me pull this into view. Uh, we can select. Uh, you have various selection options here. Um, this is also in the select by attribute as well. And I'm going to select, uh, uh, let's see here, let's select elementary school locations. Uh, and I'm going to select, there's some select options here. And I'm going to put within a distance of. And I have approximately uh, five, see, three miles here. And um, so I have elementary school locations within distance. It's using the selected feature here. I have one feature selected. And I'm going to hit OK. And just like that, I have now selected three additional elementary schools that are within a three mile uh, distance as the bird flies. And, and that's real easy to do. Another option is now that I have those three selected, I can actually do select by location instead of elementary school locations, do planning sectors. And I want to do, um, there's different types of selection here. I'm going to do that contain. So I'm going to select planning sectors that contain an elementary school location. I could use my selected features and it will only select the planning sectors of the ones I have selected. Or I can uncheck this box and it'll do all of the elementary schools. So I'm going to uncheck the box, hit OK. And just like that is selected every single planning sector that has a school that falls within the boundaries as I use the contain method. Uh, there's also others as well that you can check out, but this is just a simple overview of using the select by location. Now, the third one that I'm going to do, let me um, clear out my selected features, is select by graphic. The option is grayed out. Now, you may ask, how do I select my graphic? Well, you have a drawing uh, toolbar here. Now, if it's not visible, you can right click and find the toolbar. Uh, it's right there, draw. Uh, but I'm going to select my draw new polygon. There's other options as well, square, circle, etc. And I'm going to start drawing my polygon here. And we're just going to draw a general polygon. And with that polygon drawn, now if I go to my selection option, I see that my select by graphics is available. I'm going to hit the button. And it selects every single feature that is in there. You notice there's some dots that show up. So it not only selects the point of the elementary school, but also selects all of the uh, planning sectors that, uh, that cross the boundary or is hanging within this polygon. You can also go to selection here and turn off um, one layer or the other um, to not be selected. If you just want elementary school, you can clear do a select by graphics and it will only select the elementary school locations. So just three simple ways of using the select feature. Um, you can combine these up and get some really good help with doing various analyses. 
Uh, again, this is select by attribute, select by location, and select by graphics. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and uh, please be sure to check back at my website, gispathway.com. Thanks for watching.